and uh, so those those were the, the the months of very needy Luke, and uh, when I got consistently and continually rejected by these institutions, uh, by these synagogues, and by these rabbis, and by the friends I had at those synagogues, it came to the point where, pardon the profanity, I just said, mm, "F them." F them, okay? They continually, continually, continually reject me even after I quit writing on porn, after I sell LukeWord.com, after I agree to every humiliating proposal. Well, and uh, then my heart just goes cold. And uh, my heart's just, you know, just just gone cold. And so after enough rejection, you, know, you, you build up a, a cold, cold layer of defense. And uh, then to the people who who allow me into my life allow me into their life then then I'm you know then I uh, then I'm real and then I'm open and I'm not emotionally shut down and, and cold so I've been able to maintain some friendships in uh, the Pico Robertson community since I entered it 13 years ago and uh, then there are these new friendships that I'm forming and then there are the friendships that will never recover when you can turn someone from an enemy into a friend, that is a far more powerful bond usually than someone with whom you've always been friends because you both have an emotional investment in maintaining the friendship. Uh, let's say the wrong party. He feels magnanimous and you know he, he feels proud of himself that he's been able to overlook uh, the cruel things I've written. And I feel great that I've been able to break through Know, some mistaken thing I've written or some mistaken thing I've said or done and I've been able to break through that and turn an enemy into a friend that's a powerful bond very powerful bond but uh, when, when you have a, a friendship for, for years and then it fractures it seems very rare that it'll get back together again I remember when I started writing on Dennis Prager in the end of 1997 and at that time almost all my friends in Los Angeles were also friends with Dennis Prager and virtually all of them uh, just cut, cut me out of their life and those friendships will never recover. Uh, it's funny, like if we'd been enemies we could have possibly turned it over but because we were friends and then it fractured now 10 years, over 10 years, those friendships will never recover. So. Turning enemies into friends, that's the most powerful, powerful bond.